Hi, in this video we're going to be talking about the Auto Dark Mode app and what that'll do is allow you to schedule your computer to switch between dark and light modes as needed and you could also set up hotkeys for switching and that sort of thing. Uh, so this used to be on the GitHub site but now it's been verified by Microsoft so it's available in the Microsoft Store. So just do a search for Auto Dark Mode and just look for this icon here and there's the author right there so you know you got the right one. So once you have it installed it'll be you know with your regular apps here. And there's several different uh, sections to it. So this is the one we're going to do in a minute here. We're going to set a custom hours for our dark mode to turn on. Uh, so you could also do the switch mode section. Like don't switch when playing video games. Uh, if you have a laptop, you could check this for uh, power devices. And here's where you set up your hotkeys. So if you want to do like control Q or something like that to turn on dark mode, you could do so there. Then you have some app settings to what the apps do when it switches. Adapt to the system, always light, always dark, or disabled. Same for the system, same options, except you have accent only. Uh, accent color for the taskbar, you could enable that. And then for Office uh, products, it's disabled by default, but you could turn it on if you like. And then for web browsers, you could get an extension that will have them uh, respect the system theme, so change with it. So for Chrome, Firefox, or Edge, so you can click on that to get that. Then under personalization, you could do a wallpaper if you want to enable a wallpaper switch with the themes there. And then same for the uh, themes there here too. You just need a Windows theme file for this, so it's a little more to it than that. Then you have the settings, what kind of clock, 12 hour clock is default. Hide the system tray, which is down here after you run it the first time, so that way it's easy to get to, to change the settings. Uh, color filters, energy saver, if you had a laptop, change the language, check for updates, automatic update check. So I always like to turn these off unless you really want to make sure you have the uh, latest and greatest update. And then which uh, channel you want to use, stable or beta, stable is default. Okay, so we're going to go back to time. So we're going to set custom hours for the dark mode. So it's 3.23 now, so let's go to 3... Twenty-four p.m. Check mark. Changes have been saved, so we'll see what happens at 324. Hopefully we did it in time here. I notice it doesn't kick in right away, so we'll see what happens here. Okay, so like I said, it wasn't right away, so it took probably 20 seconds after it turned to 324. So now we have our dark mode here, so then at 7 o'clock in the morning, it'll change back to light mode, and then of course you could adjust this as needed, and you can see you know, we have the dark mode with their apps and so on. So once again, just you know, download it from the uh, Microsoft Store here, and change your configurations, and then you'll be able to have your uh, light and dark mode switched as needed. All right, thanks for watching, and be sure to subscribe.